Are you a garage band for Mac user who wants to share a screen recording of your project to places like Facebook, Reddit, or MySpace? Okay, maybe not MySpace. QuickTime Player comes free with every Mac, and while it does allow you to capture your screen, there's no way to record your project's audio at the same time. All is not lost, however, as you can use another free program that comes with your Mac to create the perfect screen recording of your latest magnum opus. Here's how it works. The first step in this process is to use QuickTime to capture your Mac's screen. Here is one of my GarageBand for Mac projects ready to be shared. With QuickTime open in the toolbar at the top of the screen, select File and then New Screen Recording. In the menu that pops up, you can hit the record button to begin recording right away. The microphone menu next to the record button allows you to select a microphone input, so you can record a voiceover during the screen recording. This lacks the option to capture the Mac's audio output, however. Next, click the record button and then click on this message to begin recording in full screen. I'll switch back to GarageBand and set my project off. Once that's done, click on the stop button in the toolbar and your video will be waiting for you. As you can see, QuickTime has recorded the screen, but not the audio. Go to File in the toolbar again and choose to save the video. I'll save it to my Mac's desktop so that it's easy to find for the next step. OK, with your video file saved, open iMovie. iMovie comes free with all Macs, regardless of model. If you don't have it installed on your machine, head to the Mac App Store and you'll be able to grab it there for free. Create a new project and import your video file. The easiest way is just to drag and drop the file into iMovie's Import Media section. Next, you'll need your project's audio file. Head back to GarageBand, head to Share in the toolbar, and select Export Song to Disk. Again, I'll export the file to my desktop. It's up to you what file type you want to export the project as, but exporting to a WAV file will generally give you better quality audio. Once your export has finished, open iMovie again. Drag and drop your audio file into the Import Media section next to your movie file. You can then drag and drop your movie file and your audio file into iMovie's timeline. The trick here is to line up the audio file with the movie file as perfectly as possible. That seems OK. Finally, you can trim any unneeded footage by clicking on the edges of your movie file and dragging into place. When you're happy, head to iMovie's toolbar, click File, then hover over Share. You can share your video directly to places like YouTube or Facebook from here if you want. I prefer to export the file to my desktop though, as that allows me to double check the finished product before uploading. You can rename your file and select other export options in this box. Hit Next, then Save and wait a moment for your project to be exported. You can see its progress in the top right of iMovie's screen here. When it's finished, you can open your project's movie to double check everything is as it should be, and then upload to your social media platform of choice. Probably not MySpace though. There you have it, that's how you can create a shareable screen recording of your GarageBand for Mac project. I've been Patrick from thegaragebandguide.com, bye for now.